Hey fellow travelers, Dutchified here, and this time I'm in Bergen in Norway, and we've just been on a two-week excursion up the, co the coast of Norway on a cruise, and of course explored and tasted all the amazing foods available here. The first thing to know when you come to Norway is of course it's surrounded by coastlines, so you're going to find seafood in abundance. In Bergen there's a beautiful fish market, which is one of the highlights, things to see while you're out here, where they've got all sorts of seafood on display, so you'll see everything from the crustaceans all the way to the salmons and the different kinds of fish and the crustaceans are of course fresh on display in the tanks so that's really nice uh, there are three restaurants there we tried one of them and the thing that i found incredible on the menu was a whale steak i've never seen whale steak on a menu anywhere in the world and so of course i thought this is the perfect opportunity to try it now i've got to be frank about this one whale steak is kind of just like a gamey red meat so probably i would say missable unless you really want to just explore to taste it but it's kind of missable, it's more like a beef steak or a gamey kind of meat. The other thing to try out here is a kind of reconstituted lamb, pinnock kjort, and of course my Norwegian pronunciation is non-existent, but it's a cured lamb, they cure it during the summer months, salt it, dry it. During the winter months they reconstitute it and then cook it up, it's really delicious, it's a very salty kind of dish, but nice warming in the winter months. Of course when you come out to Norway, one of the things you expect to find is Norwegian salmon, it's renowned throughout the world as one of the best salmons and it's for a good reason. You'll find plenty of Norwegian salmon while you're out here in Norway and actually we had salmon in all its guises. Everything from on sushi in a sashimi, uncooked form to cured to of course the cooked steak. So that you'll find everywhere, it's quite ubiquitous. I've just had a fish soup for example and of course salmon was prominent in that. One of the things you'll also find out here is the little shrimps or little prawns. And the thing to note here, they're a little bit smaller than the normal prawn, kind of a small cocktail -y size and one of the things which is a little bit jarring is that sometimes you'll have a female and she'll have roe or eggs inside and and that's one thing that people who don't know that it's it's possible to have might not like I've had it before so I knew to expect it so it wasn't gaggy at all but for those who don't know and the first time you encounter that not so nice but uh, the shrimps are of course you'll you'll see them often and and I had them many times on the boat with fresh mayonnaise and that was absolutely delicious. It's a lot of hard work for a little bit of meat, but the taste is well worth it. And you'll see it everywhere as well. One of the stranger things you'll find out here is a brown cheese called Brunost, again, pronunciation aside. And it's basically like a processed cheese, thinly sliced, and it's got this strange caramelly brown color. In terms of taste, it's kind of like a creamy, sweet-ish kind of taste. I don't know, it's more kind of desserty than cheesy in my opinion. But well worth trying while you're out here. We saw it everywhere, ubiquitous. You get it at the breakfast buffet, the lunch buffet. We also saw it uh, at the various coffee shops, so in scones or on buns. So it seems to be a very popular thing out here. It's well worth trying. Not my favorite cheese in the world, but actually very interesting. So if you're anything like me and you have a sweet tooth, then you'll certainly want to try some of the chocolates and sweets that you can find out here. I always when I travel look out at the grocery stores for something unusual and normally I go for the chocolate in this case in Norway they've got a thing called quick lunch quick lunch it's a kind of strange pronunciation <laughs> and essentially it's like a Kit Kat and they've got it in two forms the milk chocolate form and also dark chocolate form and it's nice to try but again it's it's like a Kit Kat so if you've had Kit Kat and you like Kit Kat then quick lunch is the thing for you and it's fun to pronounce as well quick lunch <laughs> If you're a seafood fan, then one of the things you've got to try while you're out here is king crab. We had king crab dinner while we were on the boat and these things are ginormous. They're like two kilograms, two and a half kilograms, really big. And uh, luckily for us, they've obviously cleaned them, they've cooked them, served cold, and they'd cut the pieces up. So it was relatively easy to get the meat out. And of course, like crab, you expect a sweet meat. The king crab, because it's bigger, you get more meat and the taste was magnificent. So the king crab is well worth trying if you come out here. The final thing I wanted to talk about was reindeer. So of course when you come out here, seafood is the thing you'll have most often, but they also have reindeer, which is a more unusual meat to try. I had a reindeer steak and delicious, really nice. Again, it's a kind of gamey meat and uh, it's, it's what you expect, but really delicious to try. So if you do come out to Norway, look out for the reindeer. So that's it for the foods of Norway, the Norwegian foods that you'll find out here. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything that I missed out or if you've tried some of the stuff that I did talk about and let me know if you enjoyed them or not. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.